Hi, Matt Roberts with Athletic Director U and D1 Ticker. I'm joined by Athlete Viewpoint co-founder Michael Cross. As many of you are aware, we just released the first Athletic Department Power Index. We, of course, started with the Mid-American Conference. We're excited about this overall project, well-received so far. So let's talk a little bit about the why on this project, the usefulness for administrators, where we're going next. So first off, this idea, we've probably been going back and forth on this idea for a year. Got to be close to a year. It's been Absolutely. a while. It's been right. a while. Absolutely. And the reason we started with the MAC was really we were looking for a conference that really looked very similar. Every institution in the league had the same general number of sports, profile from a geographic standpoint. There weren't a lot of outliers. Mm -hmm. The MAC seemed like a pretty perfect place to start. There Really, there are a few leagues left that fit that description. Right. And it's I think it's tight geographically. Uh, and you've got uh, similar similarities in terms of mission and approach. There's a lot of commonalities there that would allow the questions that we ask in the in the process of trying to determine, uh, you know, some type of rating of athletic departments uh, that allows you to get into the nuts and bolts and have some pretty close comparisons and let the data speak for itself about the opinions people have about whether or not a particular job makes sense for one person versus a particular job making sense for a different person. And we're definitely gonna come back to that point specifically, but the way we structured the questions, and there was probably a list of 30 that we started with, and we pared it down, of course, to, to 10 really key variables that in our minds, and I think in the industry's mind, athletic directors who are going after a certain job are weighing all of these factors on, is this the right job for me? How does this job compare to its peers? Can I have success in this job? And success defined by a number of different ways for each individual administrator. Um, and so we landed with the 10, which I won't run through, but we found some already some interesting patterns in the first survey with the MAC. Yeah, the, 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 the reality is, is I think anytime somebody looks at an opportunity where there's an opening, uh, they're trying to assess all kinds of factors. Um, if everybody talks about fit, but what does fit mean? Uh, it could revolve around sport offerings. It could revolve around opportunities to fundraise. It could revolve around geography. So we took those 30 questions that you referenced and really got it down to 10 areas where we think at the end of the day, these are the 10 macro areas that will indicate whether or not a job makes sense for somebody as they think about career advancement and movement. And uh, providing that type of information uh, and giving a sense of what the opinions are of administrators who either are currently athletic directors or are trying to advance into that role for the first time, uh, it gives you a good sense of what the market thinks about various opportunities. And ultimately, you can start to weigh some of those things uh, as you consider the opportunity for yourself. Key point. These are not our opinions. They're not our opinions. Nope. We, we don't answer the survey. Right. We, we wouldn't be, I wouldn't be qualified yeah. to answer such a survey. You as a former sitting AD probably would. We sent the survey to roughly 150 uh, highly qualified, ha honestly handpicked. I went through and candidly did it myself, of yeah. course. Sitting ADs, as you mentioned, those in the MAC, those who are at, um, if we're going to use terminology, maybe low majors, who their next job could be a MAC job. Mm -hmm. Certainly a, a litany of Power Five senior associates, deputies, and, and other cohorts of folks who we thought could fit as a MAC AD literally tomorrow if the job were open. Ohio U just yeah. came open, so there, some of those folks may probably be going after Ohio sure. U. So these were not our personal opinions. This is the feedback from those who completed the survey. Nor, again, really important note here, nor is it a reflection of the job the current AD is doing at that institution or the potential for that AD to do a certain job at that institution. Yeah, we, we made that really clear when we went through this. Uh, you know, there, there's two pieces to this. One is, is who makes sense for this? And, and obviously asking 150 people, ultimately there's only gonna be one person who can emerge for that opportunity. But the depth of administrators across the country, the talent level of those individuals, and, and again, different institutions have different things they want or need. Uh, really suggest that getting an expansive view and understanding of, of the various ways people think about these opportunities is going to be a really comprehensive approach to, you know, does this job make sense for me? Does this conference setting make sense for me? Uh, those are those are key factors that we thought about as we went through this and uh, hopefully provides people the insight they want to see. And then as it relates to the rating of the department, we're very clear in the process that this is not an evaluation of of the administration uh, and particularly the athletic director that's in these roles. These are really hard jobs Absolutely. and uh, uh, they're very select jobs. I mean, you're one of just 350 people in the country who get these opportunities. 
and the extent to which uh, you can think about the job independent of the person is crucial. Uh, not every job makes sense for uh, any, everybody. And when you can create a dynamic where you can align uh, a person's individual talents with the needs of that campus and the leadership expectations and where that leadership at the institution, particularly the trustees and the president want to go, you've really created an opportunity where now there's a chance for success. And just because you're placed in one particular uh, spot on the depth chart doesn't mean that's where um, you necessarily will wind up. And um, again, there's some jobs that people might perceive to be not a good job. Yes. There might be two or three key factors that make that an unbelievable opportunity for you. And there's some other jobs people might look at and go, man, that's the best job ever. And people might go, but that's not the job for me because of these factors. So let's talk about specific points on the continuum of Mac AD jobs and what we've found. And we haven't really published the comments yet that came from the survey, but you and I were talking off camera, Buffalo, which came out as perceived to be the best Mac AD job. Some comments we found were, this isn't a good job right now. You're following Danny White and Alan Green. What more can you do? So, so valid perspective, although it's rated as the, the best uh, Mac AD job, other end of the spectrum, Eastern Michigan, of course, came in 12th overall in the ranking. But you had Heather Light go from Eastern Michigan to Pitt just a couple of years ago. So those are perfect examples, I think. Absolutely. And I, and I think those, those things can absolutely change. As a Buffalo alum, I can recall when Buffalo first made its move to the Mid-American Conference. Uh, if we were to have done this survey, let's say, a decade ago or maybe a little bit longer, uh, you know, people referenced Danny White and Alan Green. Ward Manuel came into that situation first when I think a lot of people thought that wasn't a great opportunity sure. uh, and took some major steps forward. So you've seen that that job and that opportunity uh, ultimately lead to three very high level athletic director opportunities. Uh, and each person went in there and individually did some incredible things that made uh, Buffalo uh, come out with the rating that it did in this process. Uh, and the current leadership is going to have that same opportunity. They're going to have a, a chance to put their stamp on the, uh, the opening. Uh, there's obviously a fit and a feeling that there's an alignment between the leadership and, and Mark Alma yeah. and the job that he's yeah. doing. So. Uh, and those things can be, those things can change. You know, you're a, you're a coaching change away. You're a, uh, a you know an important donor away. You're a you know some type of NCAA challenge away from having those things look very very different. Or a crisis away. And, exactly. Sure. The, and those those can happen at any moment. So uh, this is a snapshot in time, uh, as opposed to uh, a permanent fix of where you're going to be viewed in the world. And there's opportunities in every single one of those spots. Sure. And the timing of Ohio coming open. Clearly, we didn't plan for that. We surveyed weeks in advance, but we got lucky because it's a great contextual piece to talk about this overall effort. Yeah, and, and you know, the, this is hopefully the people who are thinking about the opportunity in Ohio are, are finding this information to be valuable. Hopefully they look and say, oh, I hadn't thought about this angle or I didn't know as much as I needed to about a particular aspect. I've got to dig into more of these types of things. Uh, people who have been an athletic director probably think about these things a little differently than somebody who hasn't. Um, but ultimately, if it can generate conversation, generate thoughts, uh, and really help either people who are considering that opportunity and help the institution itself understand how the, the marketplace and the athletic leadership across the country thinks about their institution can be helpful in their selection process as well. Sure. So we're going to the West Coast Conference next. Yes. So we'll be re releasing that in the coming weeks. We certainly have Power Five leagues on our roadmap to do this project with as well. Um, I think the other key point here is when folks dig in to the overall results, they're using athlete viewpoint software. Mm -hmm. And so the ability, what, we, what we've shown them publicly so far, of course, which is the overall look, Ohio you specifically, and then this interesting question of perception of can you get to a Power 5 AD job from each individual Mac AD chair? Mm -hmm. Super interesting question. Yes. But digging into the, to the athlete viewpoint software, there's a litany, a multitude of ways to compare and contrast data for each institution and each question. Yeah, we've, we've designed the platform in this particular case to allow people to dig in by question, by institution, uh, by overall rating, uh, and get a, a really deep dive into the granular information related to uh, you know, what goes into selecting uh, the, the job for me or the opportunity that I should be considering. Uh, those tools and those techniques that we use are actually the exact same techniques we use when we think about uh, gathering information about student athlete research, 
uh, doing student athlete exit interview information and taking that information and combining it into uh, information that athletic directors can use and senior administrators can use when they're trying to evaluate uh, their department in total and those types of things. So the techniques are the same, the types of, of information that people see here, uh, you know, questionnaire design is a huge piece of the equation. If you ask the right questions, hopefully you're gonna get good answers out. Uh, I think you and I uh, worked really hard to try and make sure we asked the right questions. Sure. Some may disagree with that, and we're certainly open to suggestions about what Important we should point. ask. We're totally open to feedback yeah, on this we'd, thing. Yeah. We'd love to have feedback, and we'd love to have uh, information that people say, hey, this is something that you missed. Here's, here's a piece that you should be asking about. But those techniques and, and skills and training are things that we can apply in any direction, and we do that across, our, across the Athlete Viewpoint platform. And if there are administrators who are watching this video, saw the initial MAC ADPI, understand where we're going and somehow we are missing them uh, in terms of they think they should be invited to vote on a certain cohort to respond with surveys of uh, survey, survey answers yeah. Matt, well, at, Matt at d1ticker.com it's pretty sad <laughs> um, most people know that address hopefully so yeah. reach out um, things is going to be a fun project we're yeah. off to a good start yeah Michael at athleteviewpoint.com as well I mean we 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 can't possibly know everybody that's going to be a, a potential person for these but uh, getting a deep pool of, of people who can think about these things and then getting a, a strong response rate really will give uh, the industry and people who are thinking about opportunities and how to move forward. Uh, you know, we focused on, on the department in total. These types of concepts probably apply to senior associate type Absolutely. positions too. You know, if, am I going into a don't situation? Give away, don't, don't give away everything. <laughs> <laughs> but they do, no question. They do. So, but, but that's that's where you can get into and say, hey, am I making wise choices? Am I making a, a, a decision in my career planning where I can go in and make a difference? And again, a, a rating is, is simply that. It's a snapshot in time. It's not uh, an indication of where you're going to be throughout the course of the, of the experience. So um, anyway, it, it's been a fun project already. I've, in, I've enjoyed the collaboration a ton, and I'm looking forward to doing a heck of a lot more. Well, we, we appreciate your all's support, but help. This is an idea that certainly we think the, the industry have, has interest in and given the behavior of the content, we know that to be true, but it's maybe something that athletic director you and Jason and I might not have been able to make come to life as easy as we did with having Athlete Viewpoint as a partner. So good stuff. Thank you. I mean, we, we, we enjoy doing those types of things. I mean, that's, that's why we've started doing what we're doing is to try and provide, you know, we're in an analytics era at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, there's lots of things you can slice and dice and measure, and, and we're happy to apply to an area that you know you and I obviously both have great passion about, which is college athletics generally, and and thinking about the industry and the business and all the different ways that people come at this uh, incredible opportunity that we all have. So it's been a lot of fun. West Coast Conference up next. Coming up. Can't wait.